you have lost your memory and you wake up in a strange room. A strange organization tells you that you are the chosen one and that you must save all of mankind from the Enderman threat. Still bewildered by your strange surroundings, they tell you these key they tell you that you must find three keys, three keys that will open the way to the base of the Enderman. You are told that you must find these keys so that you can destroy the Enderman once and for all. First, they send you to the Rendus Tower, the place where the story begins, and the place where the story ends. This tower was once a thriving metropolis. It was a city in the form of a tower until the Enderman invaded. The key is hidden somewhere inside. Then you will travel to Pompervale, an abandoned city that has been completely flooded by the Enderman. The second key is hidden there, but beware of the digital evil that lurks within. The last key is hidden in the ruins of an uncompleted project. Once you have co collected these keys, you will face your final challenge in the base of the Enderman. Good luck. Hello everybody, ADDF Toxic here, and welcome to a... An adventure map. I was about to say a new adventure map, but this is actually uh, kind of old. This is uh, running Minecraft 1.3.2. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a bit old. Um, I I started uh, playing in one one four seven, which is a little bit newer than this. Um, I have played this version before though, because um, long long time ago, I played a Minecraft adventure map called Arrival, and that was in version one point three as well. And on top of that, it's also the same map creator, which is uh, uh, why I'm playing this map. Um, but anyways, this is the story of Verendus, and what I read to you in the beginning is the story on uh, the actual forum post for this uh, for this map. Um, this map is by uh, the Ninja Turkey, also known as a um, Dadodo Gamer on is is his YouTube account, but the Ninja Turkey on the Minecraft forums. Um, all right, so uh, here's a strange room we've woken up in. There's there's the bed that we woke up from, I guess. Uh, play on peaceful unless other told otherwise. Hard. Why am I in hard? All right. <laughs> Read note one. This tunnel is lit kind of gloomily. There is a sign in front of you. It reads, <laughs> Sorry about the poor lighting in here. We couldn't get any power to where you are because we cannot risk revealing your position. So we put a small battery on the building you are in so that you could have some rather dim light. But it's better than nothing. If you are reading this, then that means that we have remotely awoken you. I do not have the time to explain how. You do not remember anything, but you are very important to our cause. It is time for you to leave the safe house. Please continue through the door to your right and go to the supply room. All right. When I played Arrival, I uh, I had this brilliant idea to lock myself out like this. I won't do that again. Supplies. Continue when you have collected your supplies. Okay. Oh. It's dirt and stone. Okay, I'll just uh, collect these first, and pressing 1 on the keyboard does not do anything in this version. And food stack, that scared me for a second. Alright, and read note 2. So yeah, this basically the whole story is going to be told in uh, text documents. I have them open on my other computer here. Um, or I have the folder with them open here. Uh, the sign reads, This is all we could spare to give you at the moment. Use it wisely, for it will have to suffice for the time being. Alright. I won't run because I only have three. What are these things? Pork chops. <laughs> Continue when you have collected your supplies. By the way, I had to uh, try recording this a few times over because, uh, um, well, there are a few problems. One of them with me being a dork and not uh, installing the game properly, and other problems with uh, it doesn't spawn me in the right place. Um, so I had. To, I'm. I guess that's the the beginning of the map because I know you're supposed to wake up in a room, and that was a room, and one was right down the stairs. So that sounds like the place, and I just had to teleport myself into in there because I broke a bunch of stuff trying to find the place. Uh, no, 
Note 3. Flip this switch to turn on the backup generator. This will turn on the lights and open the door in front of you. This is a safety precaution we added to your safe house to make sure that it, that it would only be opened when it was time for you to leave. And, as an added bonus, you will get better lighting now. Ooh, yay! This is kind of dark. Torches, yeah, that's uh, better lighting. <laughs> I don't know why I just jumped there. Could open the door first. Read note four. The sign reads, "If you can't tell already, you are underwater." Oh, I can tell. <laughs> we believe that this was the best place to hide you while you were in hibernation in the safe house. You have been underwater this entire time. Now continue on down the hall. Okay. And read note 5. I almost missed that one. The sign reads, This is the airlock for your safe house. Unfortunately, we were not able to provide you with any scuba gear or anything like that, so I'm afraid you will have to swim out here. Out of here. Somewhere ahead of you, you should see an underwater building. This was our main operations base while we built the safe house for you, but it is long abandoned. Inside, you will find something imperative to our cause. Swim there and find it. You will receive further direction when you reach there. Okay. can't see it. I want to see it soon or else I'm going to drown if I don't get in there. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, come on. There's a hole in the bottom. That's where I'm going. All right. What armor is this anyway? Oh, that's leather. Okay. Two beds. Holes in the wall as well. Read note six. The sign reads, "Welcome to this, the safe house, safe house underwater base. This is where we resided while we were building your safe house. And in, in the chest are more supplies for you and a button. Take this button, for it is the key to a secret base that you must enter, and it is imperative to our cause. Now, to, now to continue on, you must go to the surface. Our enemy, an enemy that will later be revealed to you later, will be watching. Maybe watching." And you are not safe on the surface, so be careful. We promise that you we promise you that all your questions will be answered in time. But for now, look for an island on the surface near this base. And when we get there, look for the hidden entrance to a base we put on the island. It will be somewhere there. Questions will be answered. Well, that's a good thing, because uh, there's a lot of uh, things that I'm really unsure about right now. Oh, hey, the rest of some armor. Yay. Oh, I can't get out here. That uh, was really slow swimming. Oh, hey, look at that little island. I was about to go over there, and then I saw dirt. And, of course, it's raining. This way. Um, okay, so that island just says this way. Okay. I'll go this way then. So, uh, today, as I'm recording this, is uh, Valentine's Day. Um, and I'm doing this alone because I am a loner. I <laughs> no, that's not the reason. I just, I just wanted to do this alone. Um, another special date. Uh, just by pure coincidence, the date that this first episode is going to be released is my birthday, March 4th. So happy birthday to me. Welcome to the town of Hajime, city dock. It's kind of interesting. Hajime in uh, Japanese means start. I'm sure that was intentional because this is kind of the starting area. Hajime Lava Tower of Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Sheep. 
Oh, yay, the rain stopped. Hajime government building. Let's explore this area a little bit. Please take a number and wait to be called. Well, there's nobody here. There's no number taker. There's the mayor's office. I'll just sneak in there if you don't mind. Let's take a look in the Tower of Awesome. It's a view with lava at the side. Oh, there's a rail track there. That's good to know. Some sugar cane. I can't remember, was there somewhere specific we were supposed to go? Oh, diamonds, okay. Um, I wonder if she'd mind if I took her fish. You know, I'm gonna take her fish just in case. I've been walking around instead of running, but you never know. Um, one thing I kind of forgot to read on the, the forum here is the rules. Number one, do not break any blocks beside clay. Uh, number two, you are not allowed to place many blocks besides torches, buttons, and levers. Number three, buttons and levers are one-time use items. They cannot be used more than once. Number four, do not take items out of dispensers. Number five, play on the difficulty indicated in the map or in the notes. Number six, do not craft any items. Number seven, do not enchant any items. And number eight, throughout the map you'll find diamonds and chests. See how many you can collect and then post your score in the reply section. Well, I've collected one so far. How'd you make terrain to Verendus Tower? And that's where we were supposed to go. All right, I'll take a minecart. Whoa, ow. I just took damage doing that. I'll just jump up here. Yeah, I think this is where we're supposed to go. Did it say specifically in this note? I can't remember. Um, be careful. Look for an island near this base. Oh, I was supposed to look for a hidden entrance to a base they put on that island. Hang on, let me go back there. Okay, so I'm back on this little island. There's the sign that says this way. And here's the en hidden entrance to a secret base, apparently. And I just completely missed that. I could see this on my way up. On my, on my way back. Okay, read note number seven. The sign reads... Welcome to the island. This is the secret base we set up here. If you can even call it a base. It's mostly just a storage place. Anyway, this island is not a natural occurrence. That's that's right. We built this island so we have a place above water to mark where the build site for your safe house was. We figured that if our enemy did come across this, they wouldn't think much of the I this island, much like I did. So that this island's real... So that is this island's only real purpose, a marker. Anyway, this is the... In this chest are some boats. Well, that would have been helpful. Take one and use it to get to shore. We cannot put, we cannot risk putting up markers. So just look for a sign that says this way. I already found it, and go directly towards the direction the arrow on the sign is pointing. Another way to tell where the city is is to look for a tower. The city has a huge tower marking where it is. Do not talk to anyone. In, in fact, if you see anybody, try to ignore them. There's a town up ahead. One of our main bases is located there. And when you get to the town, you need to find this base and use the button you collected in the underwater base to open the door. We will be waiting and we will be waiting for you there. I wonder if I'm actually going to see people. Okay, so I will take a boat. I'll take some extra boats. I'll take one extra boat actually and close that so that nobody finds it. And I don't want to fall where was the ladder? I know, health returns turned on anyway. I still don't want to fall. I hate boats. Alright, I'm on a boat. Going back this way. Okay, 
Come on. There's the boat dock, and I jumped out the wrong side. I'll just leave that there. It's a boat dock, after all. Power to explore to this. Hello, sheep. Hello, pig. Maybe that pig is Mrs. Miggins. Okay, so now I need to find a base, which is apparently that. Private building key. I did not see this earlier. It is very blended in with the stone. But I need the button to get in there. I almost didn't get in there before it closed. Okay, so the building is private. I need a key to get into the building. And then there's this. Read note 8. The sign reads, Congratulations on finding our secret base. Well, sorta. This building is used to hide our secret base and is disguised as a house. We have many security measures in place to protect our base, and this is one of them. The lever you just pulled revealed this secret message, but it also opened up the way you need to get to our base. Head, head out of town and look for an open passage in the side of a wall. We have set up a trail of torches to help you find the way. Okay. There's not enough time for those sometimes. Hmm. So I gotta head out of town. Wait, I wanted to walk. That's right. Right, I guess it doesn't really matter though, but I'm unpeaceful, so I'm not gonna lose hunger all that bad. Okay, head out of the town cannot mean that way. How'd you make train to Miranda's Tower? Oh, wait, Trail of Torches. Duh. Hmm. Wait, the, oh, the torches are going this way. Oh, you sneaky little people. Uh, read Note 9. The sign reads, You are one step closer to finding our base, but first you must prove yourself to us. <laughs> so you kidnap me, make me forget everything, and then... And then you, and then I have to prove myself to you. What is this? I don't know. Maybe you didn't kidnap me. I can't remember why I'm there. Uh, we need to make sure that your battle skills are still where they used to be. Head down, and you'll find a labyrinth that you must go through to get to us. Set difficulty to easy or normal now. I'm gonna go with normal. Oh, ladder. Okay. Thought maybe it was a water drop. Read note 10. Welcome to the labyrinth. Get through all of the zombies to find us. That's what the sign reads. You know what? I'm going to go upstairs. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep in Mrs. Biggins' house. Mrs. Miggins' house, I'm sorry. Why is it raining again? It's not nighttime. Okay, I'm not going to sleep then. How close is it to night? Well, I can't tell. Is this like a desert biome or something? Oh, that explains why the rain keeps coming and going. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go down and brave the zombies. I think I'll be able to get back if I... If I die. Although I may run on a boat soon. I hear the zombies! How was that? Oh, there's clay there. I could break that if I wanted. According to the rules. Alright. Oh, zombie spawner. Okay, wait, I'm not allowed to break that. Somebody's going to sneak up behind me, isn't he? Oh, there's another spawner there. Okay, this is going ahead, so... Oh, crap. 
He can reach me through the door. That's just not fair. And I want that... <sighs> Shoot. You know what? There was that clay at the beginning. I bet that was uh, some sort of secret area, but I just locked myself out, so hopefully I don't have to go the other way again.